Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a weekly Wix and Wax video, or Wax and Wix. I forget which way I originated that. But anyway, um, I have so much stuff. Like, I have a table literally piling up of candles, and I have a basket full of wax. Life, right? It's life. It's busy. And... I don't always have the time to sit down and film a video. Even now, I have like 30 minutes before I have to be out the door and I'm like, I got my energy drink, I got my wax, and I got my friends. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you're here for the Sensi, hello and welcome. Yes, I am a Sensi consultant. I get through a lot of Sensi wax in a week, but this is more like almost a month of empty, so. I'm very excited to toss this stuff in the garbage and start fresh. But anyway, I got through a lot, a lot of wax, starting with a brick of maraschino sugar cookie. This was super oily. The bar of this is in my club. And Sensi has basically taken everything that I say I don't like about cherry and left me with egg on my face because I love this. I love cherry vanilla. I love red, white, and berry pie. Like, Sensi's cherry is really great when it's done in a bakery sense. And this just smells like a rich, buttery sugar cookie filled with cherry jam. Almost like a croissant, because there's like a butteriness to the pastry in here. This is phenomenal. I love it. It was only limited for the holiday. But you could add bars to your club. I definitely added bars to my club because it was fabulous. Next, I finished a brick from the spring collection or the summer brick collection in pink apple and nectarine. This one was just okay for me. Now, I feel like with bricks, I really give them a fair chance. I do some of it in my open layout and then I'll do some in my bathroom, some in my bedroom, some in the office to really see where it thrives and if I want to add bars of it to my club. This one, no, it just uh, honestly reminds me so much of Sweet Pea and Vanilla, which is in the current Bring Back My Bar, which by the way, if you have not placed your order for Bring Back My Bar, it does end on the last day of June, June 30th. This will be uploaded this weekend, hopefully today, the 25th or 26th. But yeah, definitely get your Bring Back My Bars. I will link my Sensi website down below. Sweet Pea and Vanilla is just one that I don't love. And this is just very reminiscent of it. So this was an easy pass for me, but it was enjoyable when I melted it. Just not one I need to stock up on. I have a Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze bar here. I'm actually doing that bar in here. One bar in this open concept area, and it is fabulous. I love this. This is such a powerhouse. Two, three days, maybe even plus. And it is just like this fresh laundry type of sweet tree green spring summer fragrance i love it it's definitely one that i always want to have on hand this one is a sleeper favorite for me white sands i did not care for this in my initial bring back my bar first sniffs and i don't necessarily enjoy it on on cold but on warm it was beautiful i did this in my office and it lasted days and days and days in my office i was so impressed will totally add this to my club. Just one bar in my quarterly club, just so I can have some to melt my office and really enjoy it, but it's really pleasant. It's like coconut milk and rice. It's really pretty. I was very impressed. I did not think I was going to love that one. This one, Summer Moonlight. This is in our regular catalog. I ordered this because I've never smelled it. It's like a light strawberry body care-esque perfumey fragrance. It wasn't super strong in my bedroom too, which is like a very small space. Yeah, I would not repurchase, was not a favorite. I also did in my bedroom a bar of walnut raisin muffin. I really like this. This is truly like a beautiful rich muffin with like cinnamon sugar, like that like streusel topping. You do get the raisin for sure and a little bit of the walnuts. It is beautiful. I love it. 
It is not in my club, sadly, but if this ever does come back, I will totally put this in my club. I really like it. It's a really great bakery. I know I did a few of these. Um, Aloha Orchid, we will see. Not impressed. Definitely not. I have not really been impressed by any of the scent of the months. And this one, no. It's just like a, like a light floral pineapple. Again, like a floral pineapple body care. Like a shower gel or a lotion or a body spritz. I could easily see smelling like this. I have a bunch of bars because I have the kit, but I would not repurchase it. Same with Love and Kisses Mini. I could barely smell this, and I did two bars in my open concept. Nothing. I got nothing from this. And it's like apricot, vanilla, and berry. And we have an apricot vanilla from Scentsy, which performs so much better than this. So I prefer that one if I had to choose between Love and Kisses Mini or apricot vanilla. I like me some apricot vanilla. Ooh, I did Desert Rock and Citron in my bedroom. I actually have it going in there now. I love, I love this. This is like a citrusy, wet rock vibe. Kind of gives like a verbena essence, if you think about it. Very light. It's definitely not a verbena forward. I know we had a lemon verbena that wasn't super popular. I happen to like verbena fragrances, but this definitely leans more towards like a darker, more sharp citrus with a wet rock. This came out for the Father's Day collection. Yes, and I really like it. I also love the packaging, like the citruses and the mountains. I really like that. It was enjoyable. This, absolutely going in my club. Two bars of cherry vanilla. This is fabulous. I feel like a lot of people don't like this. So it's going in my club. It's a very, it reminds me of a like Dairy Queen rest in peace to the cherry hard dip ice cream toppings. That's what this reminds me of. Like that hard dip that you dip in a cherry or in an ice cream. That's exactly what this smells like to me. Like that cherry delicious vanilla dip I love. I did blueberry pancakes. This is an older bring back my bar in my office because it was getting super, super juicy. This just misses the mark for me. I feel like it's not enough blueberry bakery for me. It's like very maple syrup heavy. And I'd like to get some more blueberry and rich pastry. So this wasn't in my club and I just melted that. Now, Mystery Man, I did not have luck with Mystery Man. I wish I did. I don't have luck with it in the car bars. I don't have luck with it in the bar. It just smells like a very light watered down men's cologne and like i love lake my day too but i just do not get performance i think i might add two bars of lake my day to an order and then tuck them away and then in a year melt them and see how they perform not that i would know because then i wouldn't put it in my club it's that it's that challenge you know but yeah not a great performer actually this was what memorial day and labor day what holiday was it I don't remember, but anyway, red, white, and berry pie. I finished two bars of this, love. This is like a cherry blueberry pie, like cake. It's so good. It is in my club. It's not coming out, but I do think I need to have a battle of the bars between this and maraschino sugar cookie to decide which one I ultimately will put in my club because I don't always have the room in my club for all of the things. Next, I did from the summer collection or the sunshine state of mind collection, tangerine and sugar cane. I did two bars of that. This is okay. I, I feel like it's just not what I wanted it to be. It's not super citrusy. It's definitely more heavy on that like simple syrup. And I didn't care for apple teeny splash because of that simple syrup note. And I don't really care for that either. I finished Harbor's Edge. This one I was so disappointed in. I wanted it to be so much stronger, but I'm not giving up on it. I'm not. I'm going to hold on to it. And hopefully it gets stronger over time because it's so pretty. It's like beach grass and raspberry and like a salty sea air. I really enjoy the fragrance. 
It's just not super strong for me. And I wish it was. So I also only tried it by open concept. I have not tried it in my bedroom. And I think I have more bars. I don't know, but I really do like the scent. I finished Daydream Oasis. This is okay. Um, again, like a fruity, clean, very reminiscent of palm trees and ocean breeze, to be honest. A little bit lighter and a little like airier. I feel like palm trees and ocean breeze is heavier on the green. This is heavier on like the fresh ozonic air note. Still very, very pretty, but I would not repurchase it. I finished Plum and White Woods, also from the Bring Back My Bar. Um, I wish this was more plummy. I feel like it's definitely more floral body care to me. I wish it had that more oomph, that more like fruity. The White Woods aspect definitely turns this very floral, like fresh instead of fruity. And I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to smell the way that it does. It was a pretty bedroom scent, but not one I would repurchase. Hey, Tiger Lily, I'm actually doing this in my bathroom right now, super juicy. I got this in like a flash sale bundle. It's fine. It definitely smells like a, a lily though. Like it totally smells like a Tiger Lily plant. Like a light floral. So not a repurchase, but totally a vibe. Ooh. Fuzzy Blanket. I really like Fuzzy Blanket, you guys. I have so much of it from that haul that I did. It's so pretty. I did it in my bedroom, and it lasted days and days and days. It just smelled super comforting, even with my AC blasting. And then last for the Scentsy, I did two bars of Pink Lemon Water. And my open concept, and I love this. This is rosy like a super powdery, fresh, rosy scent mixed with a fresh lemon. I really enjoyed this. I do think I like um, Heirloom Rose from Scentsy and the Epcot International Flower Garden Festival. I have that in my club. I don't have this. I, th I think I prefer that because it's more heavy on the powdery rose than lemon. It doesn't even have lemon in it. But I feel like it was like, this is that base but added a lot of lemon and I like it without the lemon. But this was still very pleasant because I do love rose scents. So, oh, one more Scentsy. Oh, Blue Coconut Beach. I need to give this another shot. I do have another bar of it. Very, like, again, I say it all the time, body care. Like it smells like body care coconut lotion. I'm not a huge fan of coconut and it wasn't super strong in my bedroom, so. I missed there, but I am just left with a vendor wax and candles. So if you were only here for the Scentsy, thank you so much for watching. And now I'm about to dive into my vendor wax. I finished from Super Tarts, a clam and birch, pink sugar and Palo Santo. I don't order from Super Tarts or any vendors anymore. Oh, this was weird. The birch was like super overpowering to everything else. And it was very strong. I finished from Candles by Victoria, Vanilla Hazelnut Coffee. This is just a great, super sweet vanilla coffee. Raspberry White Mocha Latte. This was a very sweet raspberry. Um, very sweet raspberry, light on the coffee. I finished a Strawberry Cream Cupcake. I did not care for this. This was kind of like a sickening strawberry, if I do say so myself. It's like a very sick strawberry. Not a huge fan. Vanilla cream raspberries. This was super oily. This, a little artificial raspberry, like a candied raspberry. Eh, not a vibe. Jelly donut. Oh, I love jelly donut. This is so good. This is like a true, not seeded jelly donut. This is like that jelly that's like super goopy in like a plastic bag that they fill the donuts with. But it's so good. Love jelly donut from Kimmel's by Victoria. I know I had two of these. Yep. Indonesian Delight. I finished two of these. This is like a fruity vanilla scent. I know it's a house blend from her. It's like lay flowers, vanilla, strawberry. It's really, really pretty. I really enjoyed that. I did fresh squeezed oranges. I like this. This was a great kitchen melt for like the mornings instead of coffee to like wake you up and get that like invigorating citrus vibe. Really pretty. 
really like that. I did sugar cookies. This is more like a cinnamon sugar cookie. And that's what I got on warm too. So not my favorite. White nectarine and pink coral. Love. This is like a light floral, but the nectarine as this pinch that is just so pretty. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love this pink, like white nectarine and pink coral. I have a few more of, and then I also have a couple candles. It's definitely a favorite. I did a wallflower in Palo Santo and Sage in my entryway. Typically, I have great luck with the wallflowers in my entryway. I could not really smell this. Clary Sage, Palo Santo, and Ambered Woods. I like the scent, though. Um, so once it was empty, I put in Radiant Sky, which I actually really like as well. I think it's really pretty. It's like a sweet, like, lychee forward fragrance. So really like that. And then I finished, before we get into the candles, a soap and ice lemon pound cake. Love. Did not have great luck with the candle, but really enjoy it in the hand soap. I have a backup of it, which I'll probably put out now. I'm using bergamot and birch, which I also really enjoy right now in my bathroom. So, I don't know. We shall see. But that was it for the wax and the non-candles. Let's dive into the candles. Outfit change. Yeah, I did not have any time yesterday after filming that first part. And these candles have literally just been sitting here. And I don't have anything to do in this moment. So I'm like, let's get into the candles. So yes, outfit change, same candles. So first thing I finished was from Kringle. This is in one of their new soy three wicks. Uh, as you see, Burn was incredible, and this was in Blushing Blossoms, which is rose petals, floral, fresh lilac, green ferns, herbal, and musk right here. I'm sticking with it. To me, this smells like a mix of a floral and a masculine cologne, almost like, and I know this, this is going to sound weird, but it smells like the Bath & Body Works blend that's out now, the rose water and ivy mahogany teakwood. Like, I totally get that vibe from this candle, and I got it when it was burning, too. You get, like, a really bright floral perfume and a really warm, musky, cologne fragrance. I did not necessarily love it, but it was enjoyable in my bedroom. I finished it. Will I repurchase it? No. The label was really pretty. It burned great. It had a great throw, but I would not repurchase this one. Next Sicilian Orange from Kringle. Now, I'm laughing because uh, this is just not a scent for me. It was better in this size than the original Three Wick, but I still get like a cat urine fragrance from this. I know not everybody does. I do. It's an orange herbal fragrance, but I get this weird cat urine note that I just can't get past. So Sicilian Orange is not for me. But again, like the cleanest burn that you could ever get from a candle. It burned great from top all the way to bottom. Incredible, just not a fragrance for me. Next, also from Kringle in the reserve line, Midnight Garden. I feel like you don't get a lot of people talking about this one because it is a floral. This is a really pretty floral. I finished this, burned all the way down to the bottom and no problems. Now I will say, Mick, um, addressed in the group about people having a um, cracking jars, which he believes is a transit issue. I have burned a bunch of reserve candles and I have never had that issue. But again, burn with, with, um, burn with caution. Don't burn for longer than four hours at a time. You can with these, but again, you shouldn't. Uh, just be careful when you put the lids on. I have never had an issue personally, again, with these. But Kringle is aware of the issue and they will give you a brand new candle or a refund, no questions asked. Anyway, Midnight Garden is a really pretty sweet floral with a, almost an emphasis on like the dirty, like greenery aspect of the garden herb. It's really pretty. I really enjoyed it. It was nice. I burned this one in my kitchen and it was just like a nice bright greenery floral throughout the whole burn. These are so big. They take me forever to get through, but I did really enjoy it. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was pleasant. Now this guy 
I feel like Melanie and Mr. Kong's mom when I talk about this. I put this in the candle crock. This is Sweet Peach. And mainly because I wanted to see what it was like to put this in a candle crock. It is not my favorite peach. It has like an off element to it that I'm just not a super big fan of. I like peach fragrances, but burning and melting, it just gave off this odd vibe. But I did put it in the candle crock. There's nothing left. I did burn it a couple times before I sacrificed it to the crock gods to end its life. But if you are a big peach fan, definitely try this. It is a very sweet, almost like caramelized peach with a vanilla ice cream note. I just, I don't ever gravitate towards peach fragrances typically, so it's not one that I absolutely love. Now, it's hard to see here, and yes, I do need to clean my hurricane, but I am burning mermaid scales. I love. This fantasy collection that Kringle just launched is out of this world. So great. And I'm burning Jelly Donut in my bedroom. Easily the best gourmand fragrance I have ever had in my life. I have never had a better bakery candle than Jelly Donut from Kringle Reserve. Like, it is blowing my socks off. And I don't ever want to finish it because I don't have any more. And they're not restocked right now on the website. So, anyway... Oh, I'm so happy to have finished this as well from Yankee Candle. This is chocolate layer cake. Now, see, this does happen typically when you put it in the candle crocks. Um, this was way too chocolate. If you want the most authentic chocolate cake scent in a candle, chocolate layer cake. 100%. There is no more authentic chocolate cake than this. And, oh, I just don't love chocolate fragrances. I burned this on Easter. I burned this like at a Christmas and I was like over. I'm like, you know what? I have a candle crock in my laundry room. I know chocolate laundry, bizarre, but I was like, goodbye. That's where you're going to die. So she went there. <laughs> Glass house fragrances, ah, ta ha affair. Terrible. I hated the scent. I obviously hated the burn. Glasshouse candles are just not good candles, you guys. They're not, um, they're not, they, they smell like plastic when you burn them. They get super sooty and such small flames. I actually did put this in the hurricane about halfway and that's what happened to it. So I do need to clean the hurricane, but yeah, not a fan of this, not a fan of the brand. I know they're doing like a collaboration with Barbie, but I don't know, maybe Barbie's customers don't know a good quality candle because this is just not a good quality candle. I don't like Glass House, would never repurchase them. I finished an artichoke candle from Diptyque. It burned all the way down. I'm going to reuse this for, um, I almost said Q-tips. Um, picks. Um, what are they called? Toothpicks. Toothpicks in my kitchen. I think that would look super cute with a like uh, light hazy green jar. Love. Super fresh, crisp artichoke, really green. I burned this sometimes in my bathroom and sometimes in my kitchen. Great throw, great burn. Never a bad moment with Diptyque. Really, really loved that. Now on to Bath & Body Works. Um, I had mixed luck with Bath & Body Works this round. Oh, this guy. Patchouli and Rosewood, a love affair. I love this fragrance. It, up until now, was only available in a single wick. However, the three wick has those hammered lids that have that fishy smell, and it totally smells like fish. It totally has that seafood sushi fragrance to the three wick, which really bums me out. Um, I might buy one and switch the lids and see if that helps, but it does not smell like this single wick at all. This is part of the signature single wicks. This is gone though. This was in the clearance section for a semi-annual sale. This is patchouli flowers, pink pepper, and exotic rosewood. I love this scent. I don't really get much patchouli. I get this really crisp, wood with a smooth, soft, ambery rose. It is so pretty. I love it. I burned it in my bathroom. It did get a little schmutzy towards the end, but otherwise I love this fragrance. I would repurchase this. 
I hope that the three wick either relaunches in a different lid or what, I don't know, but the fishy smell, not a vibe. I finished two Palo Santo candles. Now, hot take, this was my favorite Palo Santo until Palo Santo Vanilla came out. Palo Santo Vanilla is such a vibe. Like it's pouring down rain here and I'm like, Palo Santo Vanilla? I'm currently, well not now, I'm currently burning mermaid scales, but I have in this lamp, it's not a candle lamp, it's a decorative lamp, and I have the same lamp on my ottoman in my living room, pink lavender espresso, really like that. Anyway, I love Palo Santo. It's smoky, it's woody, it's Palo Santo wood, warm amber and soft musk. These both burned fine all the way down for me, but Ever since they came out with Palo Santo Vanilla, that's my new love. I have two of them, so love. And I find to get a great throw from a Bath & Body Works candle, I need to have two. So disappointing. Rose Water and Ivy and Vanilla Bean. This was bizarre. Vanilla Marshmallow Soft Rose Petals Rain Kissed English Ivy. It just smells like bubble gum, like sweet, candied, like Christmas bubble gum. Like Lush Snow Fairy. It doesn't smell like rose water and ivy. I don't get vanilla bean. I mean, sure, there's probably vanilla in it, but like, it's just not what I expected. And the throw was mediocre at best in my bedroom. The sprinkles, super cute, but disappointed. Never leave a burning candle unattended because of this. And look, the wick traveled. You can see exactly where it went. And then I blew this sucker out. These had flame throwing wicks. Oh my gosh, this is white lavender and eucalyptus. This is crisp eucalyptus, sweet spearmint leaves and soft lavender. I like the scent. It's a very herbal English lavender. Thunderstorm, do you hear that? I love. Um, but yes, very like herbal English lavender, which I love. It just burned crazy high and that's what happened. My beloved berry waffle cone. I love this scent, but I feel like the same thing that happens with this happens with pumpkin pecan waffles. And about here, it starts to smell burnt and artificial and like overly kerosene -y almost. Sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. I also feel like nowadays, at least the last couple years with Bath & Body Works, this comes out so late in the year and then it's semi, and then it's fall, that she doesn't really get much loving anymore. It's so sad. Like, this and Summer Boardwalk are already gone in the stores. And I love this scent, but I think next year I'm going to buy it, burn it once to enjoy it, and then it's just going to go in the crock because it just doesn't ever perform well for me. I did have two of these, but I accidentally threw the other one away. Gingham Gorgeous. This was the latest candle collection. Now, just to put in perspective, to, to perspective. This guy is $26.95. The new Wild Sand and Endless Sea are $30. $29.95. Silver lid, wrap around label, $5 more. $4 more. It's a lot. Well, twenty-seven, dollars $3 more. Listen. Pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blossoms. This grew on me a lot. I have a shower gel I haven't used yet. I really like it. It's a very fruity, fresh. Speaking of fresh, though, out of this franchise, Gingham Fresh is my favorite. It's like daisies, clementine, and pear. But this is really pleasant. There was no Gingham Fresh candles. I hope that changes. I really like that. But this was really pretty. If you like a fruity strawberry fragrance, definitely give it a try. And I feel like the shortest lived white barn core candle ever, lavender bergamot right before the rainstorm. Bright lavender, bold bergamot zest, and warm tonka bean. This was okay. It was definitely more powdery lavender, almost like the lavender that's used in lavender vanilla versus the white lavender eucalyptus. With that warm citrus of the bergamot, it burned fine. But otherwise, yeah, not too bad. I enjoyed it. And... 
Now I get to throw these away and recycle them and enjoy the rainstorm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. And I know it's been a little while, so those notifications are super important. Make it a better world. Be kind to everybody because it is Pride Month and we are here celebrating Pride. So make it a better world. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.